Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and here's a letter that Loretta Scott and Ugly Warren of Rochester uh, sent to the limp-wristed, linguine-spined rhino Cheryl Donolfo. Dear Colony Executive Donolfo, Council President Scott and I have been continually meeting with community members regarding the Piccaninny-style artwork currently adorning the city of Rochester's Denzel Carousel at Ontario Beach Park. Panel in question remains an issue, causing pain and anguish to members of the African-American community and a great cross-section of our city's residents find its racist depiction of the message to be repugnant. <laughs> <laughs> that is BS. I've already dealt with this. The uh, panels, it's actually, all the panels are about animals and not about the two little black kids that were in it. That is BS. It is a lie. We are requesting the panel be removed, be replaced with another that is historically appropriate and in keeping with the other remaining panels. That is a lie. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. I want something politically correct that will uh, propagandize people. Since Connie is currently custodian of the carousel under our long-term park operating agreement, we want to request the county authorized city to undertake this effort. Additionally, once removed, we would request the panel be relocated to a place where it can be featured in a multimedia exhibit to put its unflattering, racially biased depiction into an educational context. In other words, propaganda, leftist propaganda. To this end, we had we have preliminary conversations with the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Museum Director Kate Bennett has agreed to assist if asked, and we feel strongly that this type of display in the museum setting will allow us to become a moment where we can help overcome bias and ignorance through education and understanding while preserving the historic, historically significant piece. No, you want to propagandize people. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Both of you. In the spirit of cooperation that is long to find city and county's working relationship, we look forward to your response and want to thank you in advance for your thoughtful consideration of this important request. There's nothing important about it. It's just utter BS. It's stirred up by a leftist pinko commie called... Andrea Raithka, who is a contemptible piece of human debris. Signed, Lovely A. Morn. Signed, Loretta Scott, President, City Council. Well, I'm just going to bring up, I'm going to show you uh, their profiles on the internet, and that'll be it for this one. Said I'm going to be all over their shit, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am so going to dog them on this. On the internet, of course. Okay, here's Loretta Scott. Loretta Scott is an authoritarian. She was first elected to Rochester City Council on November 4th, 2009. And blah, blah, blah. She's an authoritarian. She's basically a welfare junkie, whatever. I don't know. And I'll take a look at Ugly Warren before we go. Mayor Lovely as an Ugly A. Warren. She was sworn in as Rochester's 67th mayor on January 2nd, 2014. She was the first female mayor in the history of the city. Second 
Black Mayor and first was uh, Bill Johnson and the youngest man in modern times. Bill Johnson too was an authoritarian. I don't want to get into that. He uh he actually sent a local talk show host to some kind of a it was a re education camp or something. When the guy came back he's totally liberal. That's a long story. So there you have it. Uh, here are the uh, author authoritarians who basically hate freedom and they hate everything there is about this country. I don't know how much more people can stand, but people just keep going on and on. They don't do anything about this. You know, in a, in a small setting, let's not vote for anybody with an R or a D after their name in Monroe County, and for that matter, where I live in Livingston. Let's not vote for them. Let's get all American pro-constitutionalists, and let's all get together, put them in power, and get all these bums out of there. That's what you're doing. That's called a peaceful, legal revolution. No guns, no bullets, no trouble. Just remove them from power at the next election. That's the way it should be. That's what you do with corrupt politicians. You vote them out. I hate to have to parrot Rush Limbaugh, but that's the way it is. He's right. You vote them out. Anyway, that's this installment. I expect more to come as I find more information. I'm on the facts of Mars. Remember, these are authoritarians, as Alex Jones says. These aren't just liberals. Thanks for watching.